<laughs> uh, we have our pet of the week in. Pepe is running around, and what a cute, adorable little kitty that he's yes. riding for us this morning. Yes. Nicole, how are you today? I'm good. Yeah? Good. Yes. Yeah. Me and Pepe had a good drive down here, so <laughs> he meowed the whole way well, trying to get out. So I should probably stop that. We don't want that on. Uh oh. Right. Yeah. I'm not paying attention. I'm distracted. By I know. Pepe. Everybody's distracted by the kitty <laughs> this morning. If you uh, get on to our uh, Facebook page, go ahead and open. Just take it off. Yeah. Okay. Just oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's that red button. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. I don't. Thanks, I have Sue. no idea what you guys are doing. Uh. I'm just not paying attention. That's fine. Things. That's fine. Okay, let's take two. Okay. <laughs> we brought Pepe in. You had a nice drive in. Yes. And we did. Uh, what is Pepe? Pepe is a domestic short hair, black and white male kitten, um, full of energy. Um, he is uh, the last one of his litter. Um, he is uh, quite a ball of energy. Um, and uh, he. Uh, Loves everybody and everything, uh, and he loves playing and just uh, kind of goofing around and stuff like that. So. We get that. We have cat toys here, and yes. Nicole, our Nicole is having a lot of fun with this kitten. Yeah. Yes. Getting some Facebook Live video for us, so if you want to <laughs> drop by. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's a he beautiful is. kitten. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Has uh, little white spots on, uh, I think, all the paws. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I mentioned to you as soon as I saw Pepe. Yes. Really big back leg. Yes. Which to me means Pepe is going to be a. He's going to be a big boy. boy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to be a petite cat or anything <laughs> like that. For uh, ten weeks old right now, he's uh, quite a big cat. So, um, yeah, he he's down for adoption right now at the shelter. Um, he's been with us now. Um, a couple weeks, I can't believe it. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's a fantastic cat. So, see, I have Steve at home. He's my cat. Okay. And Steve uh, plays for about five minutes a day. Yes. He just no, and that and that's a cat for you. Once they get older, um, they kind of and we have those down at the shelter too. The ones yeah. that just want to be uh, couch buddies and watch TV and lay on the floor and. Um, not really do much, uh, 23 and a half hours a day. Yeah. Um, we have those as well. Um, Pepe is not that though. He, um, he's got energy and he likes to explore and go places and everything like that. So We're yeah. pretty lucky with Steve. We can let him out in the morning. Yes. For, and while I'm in the shower, I just let him go outside. Yep. And he basically stays on our, pro on our property. Yes. Yes, yeah, some cats will. Some cats will. He, some cats yeah. will. he yeah. just wants to sit there and watch the world go by and sit in the garden hiding behind a bush. Yeah, and some cats will just stay in the yard kind of like a dog and stuff like that. Um, and then other cats, they don't know their boundaries and uh, tend to get away. Can um, you trust a cat though? Like, really, can you really, really trust, trust a cat? cat? Um, I had a cat growing up and uh, she was fantastic. She wouldn't leave the property or anything like that. Um, when I had my nails and stuff, I wouldn't trust them at all. They it's were like when they're sitting bad. behind the bush, and each time their tail twitches, yes. it's like, oh, yeah. what's really going Watch out their for mind? that tail, yeah. Um, and Pepe's probably got some tail movement going on over there this morning. He's uh, quite a character. So. Wee little tail. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, because I have, Steve's a big puff ball. Yes. Right? And, and no, this is a nice... This is a cat that's not going to shed everywhere all over. No, and he's really slinky looking, actually. Yeah. He's uh, really uh, lean and uh, tall, so I think he's going to be uh, quite a nice looking cat when he gets bigger. How are we looking for numbers of cats, numbers of dogs that are up for adoption? Our dog numbers are fantastic right now. We had a great weekend, um, lots of adoptions and everything like that. I think right now, to date, I think we have two dogs up for adoption. Wow. So, it's pretty sweet. That's good news. Yeah, That's great. yeah. It was a great weekend. So, um, as in cats and kittens, it's a totally different story right now. We have um, we're full. We have um, kittens. Um, I'm going to say approximately about 30 kittens right now for adoption. Um, and right now, adult wise, we're probably at about uh, 12, 30 as well for adults. 40 maybe. Um, also. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we have cats and kittens everywhere right now. So, how hard is it? I mean, everybody wants the new model. Yes. Right? Yes. So, those adult cats, is it harder to adopt them out when you've got so many kittens in the place? Well, it really depends on what people come in for. Um, yesterday, we had a nice uh, lady came in and she wanted to adopt an older cat that uh, was going to kind of chill with her and stuff like that. Um, and she took home Lefty. He kind of had a deformed 
Bluff Paw. Oh. Um, and uh, he was a fantastic cat. He would be one, two, sit on the couch and get loved and everything like that. And that's what specifically she came in for. Um, we had another family come in yesterday and they, adop they adopted two kittens from us. Um, so it kind of depends on what people come in for. Um, but we do have a lot of people that come in for an adult cat, that they don't want the crazy kitten stage. Yeah, you might um, want to back off over here, Nicole, on the toys so that he looks, they are nice and calm today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't need to be cold. Oh, okay. and there he goes again. <laughs> yeah, so we get a mixture of people that want everything. Um, the same with puppies and dogs. Um, some people want a, only a puppy. Some people want only a dog. So it really depends on who comes in. So, yeah. Uh, what do you need to, as far as supplies? I know you guys are always looking for blankets, towels. Now. Oh, yeah, blankets and towels. Um, another thing is always clay cat litter. Um, we go through a lot of cat litter in a day. We... Um, can't use clumping in the shelter, um, so we use clumping oh. litter for our foster homes actually. Um, some of the foster homes that go out with the adult cats, they get to take the clumping home. Uh, the clay litter is the most used in the building. Um, blankets, towels, cat toys is another big one that we always need for the kittens. Um, everything like that. And right now, come down and visit because we also have our cat sale now. So. <laughs> We have a sale on cats right now. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> we actually have our adoption fee right now for cats and kittens is a hundred dollars, right. which includes everything. So you're getting them fixed and examined and uh, vaccines and all that stuff. Um, and then we have a two for the price of one. So we have a two. You can adopt two cats, two kittens, and it's 175 right now. So um, you get the two for the price of the one adoption fee. So come down. Everybody. <laughs> Make our place even more chaotic. You know, wacky, we need it. wavy, inflatable arms. Yes! Too oh, that'd bad. be awesome. Yeah. We need to do that. Uh, just put Pepe out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can do it for us. Um, um, yes. So, yeah, we, we need homes. Excellent. Yes. So we have the Facebook Live video going up of Pepe right now. Pepe. 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 He's cute. Kind of looks like he's talking to me out in the backyard a little bit with that white screen. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Nicole, thanks very no, much. No, no problem. Thank you, guys. Yeah. And of course, our pet of the week is brought to you by Marcotte Disposal. Life is good. Awesome. Was he good?